Yeah. I um, uh, hope this is working. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm just getting some greens for... I like to steam them. That's my favorite. This is an old collard green that grew from last year. On southern Vancouver Island, we have the we have the luxury of having greens and this kale here. I'll leave some flowers for the hummingbirds. And some you don't take, like this one here. It's got a little bit of bird uh, waste on there. So you wouldn't put that in, but these are pretty good and. I don't have any slugs here because I keep another part of the property um, like in the shade. I keep a hose running along there once in a while. And the snails seem to migrate there, but I mean, this is what works for me here, right? But this is delicious stir-fried or eaten raw. Mmm. Well, Excellent early greens. So healthy for you. Some of these I'll steam, some I'll just fry in butter. Yep. This is early spring still. Well, I guess it's mid spring now. But uh, in the zone 8 here. Um, it's going to be my lunch today. Yep. And kale went to seed, so I'll spread that seed around. Over here, Got some lettuce. Uh, probably take uh, one, two. I'll let one grow out. There we go. I noticed my buddy's been here. A little bunny. I guess they got to eat too. Yeah, so, there we go, that's enough for my lunch today. I've got my salad here. Let's put it right here. Here's my greens. And this one here is rather nice too. It's a Chinese spice cabbage, it's absolutely delicious. Some spearmint. And a few strawberries coming now, too. They're green, though, still. But, uh, yeah. This is a Josta berry. I made a clone last year. And here's some uh, horseradish. This is really, really nice. Really nice horseradish. And I put some tomatoes in a week or so ago, and... There they are there. They're not doing the greatest, but I'm okay with it. Yep. Wow. This place is just, wow. A lot of potatoes. You see? Plenty of potatoes here. And then all through here, you see? salt potatoes and this is some very huge garlic here this is um, this is elephant garlic it's, uh, it's really nice look at all the potatoes over here today 
we'll be harvesting. I, I'm every year now. I do different, uh, different um, herbal that I use fresh. Like this here is Mexican oregano. You see, Mexican oregano is. It's delicious, but I'll cut that down about five, six inches, and then I'll dry that out. And this is a teasel, this here, and see how the birds will now get a drink of water, and bugs go in there and die, and they even eat them out of there. It's a, food forest is pretty cool. This is a sage here. This is sage here. I just transplanted that there last year. Yeah, so yeah, this is a Japonica, oh, pardon me, the Japonica Acer, and uh, this is Fever Few, and uh, there's a whole, whole video can be made just on Fever Few, and here's another oregano, and I just started with like a little bunch I, I took out of a friend's yard off of the main plants. Here is, um... The hibiscus is just starting to bloom, or not bloom, but leaf out, pardon me, excuse me. And, uh, you know, I put in new sage plants this year here all throughout the food forest. And um, this is a raspberry collection. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, this is all raspberry here. And... Um, This was a whole new bed of raspberry I put in here. I had uh, I had squash there last year. Today I finally got something I can move around a little bit. So I'm going to do the mail out of seeds. That should be exciting. So um, so watch out in your mail there, Dave Knight. <laughs> Just mailing it out tomorrow morning, but I'm going to have it all together. It's been a journey, but uh, just wanted to show all these garlics. Look at all these garlics here. I think I'm going to need a few for my uh, for my uh, my salad today. And these are just fresh garlics that you use. There's too many in the bunch, you know. But uh, you can use these fresh. Yeah, there's some more elephant garlic. So I'll put that with my food over here. This all has to be harvested too. It's quite extensive. Some chocolate mint, anybody? I love my mint. Don't be shy with planting your mints. So here's the garlic. There we go. So, so far, I have my lettuce for my salad, my uh, garlic, fresh garlic, and collard greens. So over here is our last but not least, and that's going to be some radishes and uh, oh look at these nice little groupings of spinach hey look at that hey huh little nice row there this just looks so delicious but on a more serious note let's see what we got here oh look at that some radishes radishes for my lunch today yeah there we go, there's a nice one. Oh boy, look at those, hey? Yep. And I have some French radishes on the other side of the property, but I'm uh, not gonna go and hunt them down just yet. But uh, there we go, look at those puppies. Little globe ones, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah. Sure is nice. Yeah, so let's see what we have for a salad today. I'm not moving very well. I'm post-surgery. Two surgeries. <laughs> wow, so look at this. Harvest of radish, early garlic, some leaf lettuce, and some kale. Yeah. But last thing I wanted, I wanted one more thing I forget though. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's out front. I have to pick a few pine berries. But um, yeah. Look at that Italian plum, hey, it's just loaded. Figs and kiwis are all out. It's a pretty cool, cool thing that's going on here. It's a food forest. And um, right here, this is a really interesting. I put this in in the winter time and I had glass jars on it. And people have been harvesting the outer edge of the leaves. So um, it's quite, quite a large patch of green leaf lettuce. Harvested the outer leaves like, I don't know, a few times now. Here's a one here, some more here. Uh, I forgot, and I thought I picked more, but um, yeah, that's the first harvest this year, and um, I, I, for me, I mean, other people have come and harvested uh, different vegetables, such as, uh, as um, radish, the first crop of radishes. So there's not many of them left. There was a few over here. They go pretty fast once you start eating them and they're not, if you're not around to plant them in succession crops, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna run out. <laughs> but I come over just to see if I can spot a few and I'm, I'm unable to. And, well, there's one there. That's not very big at all. Uh, but there was a row that went through here, but it's no longer there. But um, today I'm gonna get over and this is the lawn that we turned into a veggie patch. And uh, you can see the different rows there of uh, onions, garlic. There's quite a bit of rows over there, you know. Let's kind of go in. There you go. Hopefully that works. You can see the rows there. And uh, got a few plants in the way here, but you can see all the rows there, cabbages and and apple trees and stuff. But it's been uh, a journey making this lawn into a veggie patch, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's done, it's done. So, yep. It's a small Italian plum tree. I have to move it. Move it, move it, move it. Grow it, grow it, grow it. And here's some thimble berries. They grow by themselves here, but if you don't keep these wet, then you don't get the berry. And it's just like it's already made into jam when you pick them. It's really cool. But uh, yeah, it's the food for us. Uh, a lot of potatoes here. My God, look at all the potatoes. See, now that's stored food. You can see all potatoes. Yeah, and well, and new greens are coming up too constantly constantly so I'm just gonna grab some um, oh look at those mulberries oh those are fantastic looking mulberries oh yeah quite a few on there too but um, yeah here's some polyculture going on here now you see this blackberry here you see this blackberry? This new tip of the blackberry is excellent in the stir fry. This is a thornless one, but you can use the thorn ones too because the glow kid hasn't developed yet. These go good in a salad, delicious. And um, these leaves, goji berry leaves, excellent soup base. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, look at all the berries coming this year. Hoo hoo, this is gonna be loaded with mulberries. Yep, sure is. Yep. Oh my. Last thing that I'm going to harvest is a pot of lemon balm and I 
have my eye over here on a patch. Here it is here. There we go. So yeah, this here is my patch of lemon balm tea. I'm gonna have, sorry, it's, it, it'll grow back by itself, but I wanted some lemon balm tea and I just wanna check it over for any bugs. And usually if there is gonna be spit bugs or something, you know, you might find them here. But I put down so much wood ash, you know, that it really doesn't make much difference. So, we ended up with lemon balm harvest, collard green and kale harvest, early gar uh, garlic, early, early garlic for the soup base or stir fry, a few radishes, and uh, some lettuce. And this looked after itself. I didn't water any of this. And, and uh, it just, the, the lettuce I planted underneath a, a glass jar. It actually snowed on it. <laughs> and now, now we end up with uh, everybody in the village getting whatever they want. There's been a few people come and get stuff, but there's an abundance pretty quick, I guess.